At ADH TV, we're passionate about diversity and inclusion. We love diverse opinions and we want to include them on our shows. So I want to hear from you if you've got something on your mind, whether you agree with me or not. You can just send me an email to nickcater at adh.tv. That's Nick with a K, Cater beginning with a C. Nick Cater at adh.tv. This week I wrote in The Australian about Chris Bowen's energy policy and his fantastical net zero targets and his unmet promise of lowering the average Australian family's energy bill. Promises we've heard far too many times before. Mark wrote, can we please stop referring to solar panels and wind farms as renewables? They are weather dependent generators, nothing more. Dumping millions of tonnes of solar panels into landfills is not renewable. The terminology is misleading and deceptive. Vince says the only reason nuclear is not being considered is that too many rent-seeking financiers with their tongues hanging out to get to the sticky get their sticky fingers on government guaranteed profits from investing in subsidised renewables to meet Chris Bowen's target. Bowen is the useful idiot aider and abetter of these rent-seeking billionaires. Stephen says. Chris Bowen does not operate in the real world. He's never had a position that wasn't a political appointment and he has no understanding of much at all. He's loud, opinionated and regularly wrong. This is why the government kept him on a muzzle during the election campaign. Bowen would be out of his depth in a puddle. <laughs> Kevin says, Chris Bowen reminds me of a TV salesman I came across recently. Bombastic in his attitude and very little knowledge of the product he was trying to sell. Obviously, I went um, where, um, where elsewhere, but we're stuck with Bowen when it comes to energy. Marcus says, China is rubbing its hands with glee as we purchase solar panels and wind term turbines from them to decarbonise the economy. Albo's promise to bring more manufacturing to Australian shores will be difficult if we don't have base load reliable power supply. Time to bring on the debate of nuclear energy. Hear, hear. Rod says, Australia's energy policy is incoherent. Talk about blind faith. Faith that we can cover the country with wind and solar farms without dire consequences for the environment will prove to be a terrible deception. Worse, by the time the environmental disaster is, is at its peak, we'll be too poor to fix it. 